I'm in the cloud. You just finished college. What do you do? Uh, I can't tell you what to do. That's something for you to figure out yourself. All I can say is never sell out. Like listen to some like, you know, like, like, like punk music before shit got cucked and like be like, I'm never going to sell out and commit that to yourself. And then if at some point you're 30 and you look back in your life and you're like, damn, I sold out. Then you know what you do? You make a change. You wake up and you quit your shitty job that's destroying value in the world. You, you, you know, you break up with your, your, your girlfriend who, who, who treats you like shit and is just like, you know, we, we don't, you don't understand. We have a life together. And you decide that you're going to, you know, not sell out. You know what I mean by sell out. I sell out with comma. Fuck off with that shit. I think I sold out. Who did I sell out to? <laughs> I would never sell out. I would rather, I would rather, I would literally rather be a homeless drug addict than be a sellout. Just, just while we wait forever for things to happen, check out the AR headset. Yeah. Yeah. You know? No, but like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean by like the kind of job or the kind of girl or, or anything in your life that's like, you know, forcing you down a path of selling out. Um, yeah, I don't know what you do with Google either, man. See, but like, why do you have bills to pay, right? Like, that's what you need to get down to, right? Like, what in your life is forcing you into a position where you have to pay an exorbitant amount of bills? Um, right? Well, the, the way, the way selling out happens is people get caught up in a sort of lifestyle. And then they're like, oh, I have to maintain this lifestyle. It's not worth it. Ditch the lifestyle. Like, you'll just be so much happy. You say, I'm a happy guy, man. You know? I don't got shit, but I'm a happy guy. Dude, I bought this laptop. This laptop is mad expensive. Yeah, it was $1,800. But thank you to all of you for... Yeah, you say, like, I like to buy stuff and it makes me happier. Um, So some stuff might make you happier, right? Uh, what you have to look at is, like, am I buying something that I am going to use every day? Uh, if the answer to that is yes, then, yeah, maybe it does make you happier, right? But if, if the most of the enjoyment you get is the buying itself, when you buy something, you get a hit of dopamine, right? If most of the enjoyment you're getting out of the thing is buying it, don't buy it. If most of the enjoyment you get out of the thing is using it over, like, years, then, yeah, buy it, of course, right? Like, the world, you know, the world's great. You should, I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't enjoy the great things the world has to offer, but, like... If you're buying something because, like, well, you know, this is like Ten Commandments shit. If you're buying stuff because, like, the neighbors have one or something like that, then, like, you know, don't. 